Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how you can downgrade from iOS 16.2 to iOS 16.1. Now the reason you might want to do this is because iOS 16.2 might cause some of your apps to crash or it could cause your battery to run out quickly so I'll be showing you how you can fix that. Now the first thing you want to do is connect your phone to either a Mac or a Windows computer using the phone's charging cable. And once that's connected, go ahead and log on to your computer and then you'll get a trust notification on your phone asking if you want to trust the computer. So what you want to do is press on trust and then type in the passcode for your phone. Next, you'll need to open your search engine and go on to IPSW.me and then select the device that you're using and select the model of that device you're using. I'm using the iPhone SE 2020, so I'll be selecting that. And next, select iOS 16.1 and scroll down to where it says download and press on the download button. And while we're waiting for that to download, we're gonna go onto our phone and open settings. Next, press on your profile at the top and scroll down to the button that says Find My and press on Find My iPhone. Then disable Find My iPhone and type in your passcode. And once Find My iPhone has been disabled, go back onto your computer and the next step will be different depending on if you're using Mac or Windows. If you're using a Windows computer, then you'll need to make sure that you have iTunes installed. Once that's done, open iTunes and press on your device icon at the top left corner. Now, if you're using a Mac, then the steps will be a bit different. First off, you need to open Finder, and then all you need to do is press on your device on the side of the window. So once you've done that, you'll be on the final step, which is actually downgrading the phone itself. And to do this, you need to press down on the Shift key if you're on a Windows computer, and on the Option key if you're on a Mac, and then press down on Restore iPhone, and select the file that you just downloaded and press on Open, then press on Restore, and now you'll just need to wait for your iPhone to finish downgrading. Now once your iPhone's been downgraded, you'll see that it'll be on the setup screen. So just go ahead and set it up, and now, you'll see that if you open settings, general and about, it'll be running iOS 16.1.